my channel. Today's video is Friday Fabs and Flubs. Hopefully that name takes. I thought long and hard about what to call my Friday favorites and hopefully I'll be able to keep up with Friday favorites. I'm not on such a good track record for uploading videos. I'm hoping to get better at it doing more research. I hope to eventually be able to do tutorials but I don't think I'm quite as good as say Tati or Kathleen Lights so I'll stick to right now product reviews and what I'm liking and not liking in a month. So my first product I'd like to talk about is a new product that I've come across and I had mentioned it in my March favorites that I had found product called Joe Fresh Cosmetics that are available through Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. Um, I bought several different products and these are a few that I've been trying. This is the Daily Boost Fluid Foundation. It contains antibacterial, hydrating, and dew finish. So, this one is not, it's really thick. It looks like it would be full coverage. It is, I would say, light to medium. I've been liking it because the weather's nicer and I want a sheer finish and because my skin's been acting so nicely lately I am enjoying having a lighter coverage on my face. Um, as I said it's light coverage you can build it to medium you're not going to get full coverage even though it is a thick when you pump it out it's a thick one but one pump will cover my entire face so and it does have a pump which is nice it's a plastic bottle um, I believe that it's one ounce of product in here it does not say on the bottle but I'd say it's at least one ounce it's a good portion for a foundation and it wasn't expensive so if you're looking for a light to medium coverage foundation, I would say give this a try. This one's in bisque, which was, I believe, the third lightest or the third darkest color in line, depending if you're going light to dark. Um, although I have to say there aren't a lot of shades in it. Hopefully, if people are buying it, they will put in more shades. The second product is also from Joe Fresh and this is their oil absorbing pressed powder. It's compact like this. It's thick plastic so you don't have to worry about it breaking. It does have a cotton puff. I set my foundation with this and it just gives nice coverage. I didn't feel oily after using it and it seemed to hold the shine down in my T-zone which this is a dewy finish so I want the dewy on my cheeks but not down the center of my face and this powder held it at bay quite well. Next product and as I had said I decided I was going to try bronzers so I had gotten the BB formula bronzer from Physician Formula which I loved all of the month of March and my next one I got was the Sephora in Los Cobos which I'm also really liking. It's a bit darker than the Physician's Formula so I have to be a little lighter hand with it but it's nice the one thing I could say about it that I don't like is the smell 
I don't even know how to describe the smell. It's not pretty. Like most bronzers have a sweet smell and this one is not sweet at all. Another new item I bought this week was the Too Faced Love Flush blush collection and I have to say that I'm really loving Baby Love and I've also used Justify My Love. This is new so it's only been a couple days that I've been using it but these colors are so beautiful and they're not overpowering. I think it's a matter of how you apply a blush. If the color is a darker color just go a little lighter handed on it. That's what I do but love them. I don't know that they last 16 hours. I don't normally keep my makeup on for 16 hours so possibly it's always on when I go to take off my makeup at the end of the night. My compact eye compact of choice this week has been the Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay collab. I think what I like about this one is it has some nice light colors and as we're heading into spring I think everybody's going for a lighter eye color on their eyes. And I think enough has been said about this palette. I think I don't think I've heard anybody say that they didn't like this palette except for the color pop was not the best consistency and as you can see there's dust all over here from that one but all the rest of them are great so if one out of a compact doesn't work that's pretty good my lip combination has been and I have said this <laughs> in a couple videos my favorite ColourPop lip liner is O Snap. I love this color. It's the just right nudie pink color. And I've been topping it with NARS Chelsea Girl. It just gives me a nice light coloring. Of course, this is going to wear off through the day, so you have to carry it with you or just carry the lip gloss. This one is said Chelsea's girl but this is Turkish delight is this one for my highlighter and I haven't spoke of these before and I feel kind of bad saying it because you may or may not be able to get this depending on the consultant if they have any product on their shelf to sell this is a Mary Kay Sheer Dimensions powder in pearls and it was a limited edition. They don't have this in the regular line but it's just a beautiful pink highlight and it's light because I am oily and I do have marks on my skin from having acne. I don't want something all the time that's going to show all the bumps here. So this is nice and light, gives me just the right pop of highlight without being too much. The next item I want to talk about is another thing that you can't get this particular scent anymore. It's the Avon Skin So Soft Skin Daisyac. And this is a silky body wash. The reason why I'm talking about this is I went to shave my legs and I had run out of my shaving gel. And I went, well, I got to shave, so what am I going to use? And I reached for this. I don't know that I'll ever go back to a shaving gel again because the way my legs felt after shaving with this was 
so smooth and so silky and so soft and if you don't know anything about the uh, Skin So Soft line from Avon the original was just an oil and they found that it actually repelled mosquitoes if you were wearing it and it was a moisturizing oil so any of the Skin So Soft products have oil in them whether it's the lotion, whether it's the, there's a mist, there's the gels or the body washes and there's also just oil that you can put in your bath or you can just put on your skin. But I reach for this one. I love it. I love the smell. It's not a regular line product but they do have three other Skin So Soft products and it's just a matter of finding which scent you prefer. But I don't think I'll ever go back to shaving gel since I discovered how well my legs felt after using this as my shaving cream. And it doesn't lather up like a soap. It's more of an oily consistency. But you get such a close shave and you're, because of the oil in it, your skin feels so soft afterwards. Definitely a must if you're looking for something to help with dry skin. My legs have such dry skin. This is such a lifesaver. And check out Skin So Soft products. I wish this one was still available because this is such a nice scent. Because it has passion fruit in it. But the other ones are quite nice that are in the line. Now for my flub. One flub for the week regret buying it. This is a Joe Fresh product and it's sad because I've liked quite a few of the Joe Fresh products. This is the Illuminating Concealer. I don't know how this is considered a concealer because it just it blends away to nothing. It does not conceal anything. It doesn't illuminate anything. It just does nothing. It I do not recommend it. Like I said, I love so many of the Joe Fresh products. This is not one of them. Thanks everybody. If you haven't already, subscribe below, click thumbs up, and see you next time.